My first memory in the ocean was at this little beach called Poipu and my grandmother pushing me in on a wave. And as soon as you hit that water, everything goes away. It's incredible. There's just something about our oceans that's absolutely incredible just what it does. And that feeling of salt hitting my skin, the coolness of the water coming over my body, no gravity pulling at me, no awkwardness of life. I just, I felt like I was at home. When I was 18 years old, I got attacked by a shark. As soon as I basically brushed the surface of the water with my fingertips, a tiger shark came out from underneath me, grabbed onto my legs, and started just ragdolling me back and forth. The shark was right in my chest, and I, I was kind of trying to push its nose, and I remember the shark being really square, and I think the jaws were sort of on this side, and that's why I lost this leg. And as I'm paddling, I looked over my shoulder, and my leg was gone. I woke up the next day in the hospital. I had an amputee visit me wearing a prosthetic. And I was like, huh, prosthetics, I can go surfing. That sounds, that's cool. I was back in the water a little over a month. Surfing the prosthetic, it's something that is challenging. You've got to sort of be innovative with materials and techniques. It's never the same. And it's, I don't know, it's me, I love it. Six years ago or so, I got a phone call from a shark attack survivor in Florida. She wanted to know if I wanted to get into shark conservation. I had no idea what was going on in our oceans with overfishing, illegal fishing, shark finning. As an apex predator, sharks play an invaluable role in our marine ecosystem. They are basically at the very top of the food pyramid. You take away what's at the top and any biologist worth their weight will know that it's not gonna end pretty. And it just so happened that we had a shark conservation bill coming um, into legislation. And I went to meetings, I tried to create support and, and the bill got passed. California, New York, Oregon, we got all these states to sort of piggyback the Hawaii bill. By having funding for scientists, you take these data sets to policymakers. To me, that is the most important thing there is into helping save shark species. I think partnering with brands like Costa is invaluable because this isn't an issue that one or two people can handle. It's something that everybody comes together, uses their skill, uses their passion, their drive, their energy as a cohesive group. And I think that's really powerful and that's when powerful things happen. I can't do this alone. You can't do this alone. We need to all come together and do this as one.